program is Dr. Steve Snyder. Since population is growing, since more people are demanding increased standards of living, since the use of energy is a major factor in increased standards of living, and since the principal energy source is fossil fuels, coal and oil and gas, projections suggest that CO2 is going to increase at an almost exponential rate uh, over the next 20 to 50 years, and that sometime around the end of this century there'll be maybe a 20% increase in CO2 uh, over now, and in the middle of the next century a doubling over now. That's a very large increase. Up till now, we've had this 7% increase. What will that do to the climate? Are there any signs? Are there any precursors? Do we see anything which indicates that there's any serious changes? And this is where controversy comes in. The scientific consensus that CO2 will build up and will be a potential problem is very large. But a scientific consensus on precisely how influential it will be in 10 years or 20 years, what areas climates will get better, what areas will get worse, this is where the controversy comes in. So what we're really doing is we're insulting our global environment at a faster rate than we're understanding it. And the best we can do, in all honesty, is say, look out, there's a chance of potentially irreversible change at a global scale based upon the benefits of use of energy. And it's very tough for us to know whether those benefits of energy today are worth the potential risks of environmental change for our children.